everybody, it's Mr. A. Today we're here with Bob Storr of Storr Construction, and we're here at Pro Tool Services in Bakersfield, California, which is an oil field company. How you doing, Bob? Hey, I'm doing great today, Tony. Good. Thanks for being with us. Yes. Um, you are a an owner of a construction company. That's right. And you've been in construction for a really long time. How long have you been in construction? I've been in the construction business for 23 years. I've been in business for nine years of those 23 years. When you were a kid, did you ever think coming up into high school or even in the high school days that you were going to be a cons you know in construction, one of the village people, <laughs> right, and, uh, and that you'd be doing this? As I grew older and into my teen years and the junior high and high school, I started formulating a plan and, and I really learned to appreciate science at that point. And uh, in, my, in the middle high school years, I really wanted to go into college and get into biology and or chemistry. Right, now talk to us a little bit about the math that you use here on the job. Kind of apart from being the business owner, what kind of math are you using? Math is used every day in construction. From the day we break ground to the day we finish the job. And we're on, a, we're on one of our projects that we're finishing up right now. And uh, the first day we were out here, we were using mathematical principles, measuring, taking area measurements, uh, taking volumetric measurements. Uh, we were figure out, figuring out slopes so we knew how to slope our concrete or slope our drainage so that it made, we made sure that we didn't have any ponding of water. So math is used in every aspect of construction from the day we break ground to the day we finish we're using mathematical principles. Mm -hmm. Well here's maybe a quick equation we can give the kids. Uh, they say that the camera adds on about 10 pounds and there's about five or six cameras on us right now. Exactly. So we're, you know, we're actually pretty svelte. It's just like by the time it gets processed through the video we look about 56 pounds heavier, right? Yeah, I really don't look like Santa Claus. <laughs> I really look like uh, Tony. <laughs> Okay, so Bob, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the, the length of this side of the building and then we're going to do some measurements off of that, like area, volume, perimeter. Right, right? we'll take the, the length and then we'll take the width and then we'll figure out the perimeter of the building and, and those three sides of the building that we actually have. And then we'll figure the, the area okay. of that. Okay, Tony, we have 50 feet on this side of the building. That will be our length. Okay. Ready? Okay, now we have a width of 30 feet. We're going to use those as our base measurements to find out the area and then find out the volume of concrete we're going to need for the foundation. So now what we're going to do, now that we've established the length and the width of this building, we're going to find out the square footage of the area of the building. So we're going to take L, which equals 50 feet, and we're going to take W, which is the width, okay which is 30 feet and we're going to take 50 times 30 and we come up with 1500 square feet that is the area of this building that's how big the building is in square foot okay now we're going to find out we have no, no, sorry, that's just that 1500, what that represents really, what we measured is if you take little squares that are one foot by one exactly. foot exactly, and laid them out on this floor, there's 1,500 of them that would fit. That's exactly right. Okay. There's 1,500 squares that are one foot by one foot on this floor. Good deal. Okay, now we're going to find out how much concrete we need to have to create a six inch thick slab. We call the foundation of slab in, in our slang termination of, mm -hmm. of that word. And so we're going to take the 1,500 square feet, which is the area, and we're going to multiply that by 6 inches, which is actually one half of a foot. So I'm going to put 0.5 feet. Yeah, and that's important for the kids to know that they don't just plug in 6 because our units right now are in feet. Exactly, so and we want to keep inches. them consistent throughout yeah. the calculation. We're going to multiply 1500 times 0.5. So we're going to take 1500 times 0.5. We come up with 750 cubic feet now because we have a three-dimensional uh, measurement. We're not only measuring 
1,500 square feet, which would be flat, we're now giving it depth, and that creates a cubic foot measurement. So we're ending up with 750 cubic feet in this measurement. Now, we want to know how many yards of concrete, because that's how we measure concrete in square yards. Now, to find that out, we, we know that a square, a square yard is nine square feet, right? Mm -hmm. That's a yard is three foot. You measure three foot by three foot, and you come up with nine. So mm -hmm. we're going to come up with cubic yardage. I'm, and uh, so we take nine square foot, and we multiply that by three. Once, once again, we're giving it another dimension of three feet, a depth of three feet. And we come up with nine times three equals, simple, 27. There are 27 cubic feet to a cubic yard. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we're going to take this number now, which is cubic... yards and we're going to divide 750 by 27 so we're going to take 750 divided by 27 and that is going to give us yards we're going to have 27.8 yards of concrete in our foundation pour so we end up 750 And so what you've done right here is you've taken 750 cubic feet, finding how many, uh, how many cubic feet make up a cubic yard, and we're finding how many of those cubic yards are there in that 750 feet. So we're kind of separating it out, which is division. And that's what you did right there to get this exactly. number 27.8 uh, cubic yards of concrete. Well, we, we don't call it cubic yards just for short. We call it okay. yards. But that is exactly what it is. It's 27 cubic yards of concrete. Okay. Okay? And that's how we f figure out how to find out the volume that we need of concrete to do our foundation for. All right, great. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate your help today. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.